Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the Java interface. So first of all, let us understand what an interface is. Basically, actually, classes and interfaces are, are kind of the same, not actually the same. Obviously, they will not be the same. Because interfaces also contain some methods like class and it can contain some uh, constants as well. But the thing is, you can define some methods inside of this interface and then you can use those methods in other class and how to do that let us discuss about it so if they are actually telling us that a java interface can only contain method signatures and fields so basically it means that we can basically just you know you can in c++ you had to prototype it so it is kind of like that you just have to prototype the method in the interface but actually you have to implement the method in other class that you are going to implement okay so okay i hope i didn't make sense or i hope i did make sense i'll just do one thing i'll just copy this code and paste it over there and I'll try to explain you all what an interface is. So it has implemented util utility package and so that's all fine. You'll jump sim simply jump to the main method because that's it, that's what is going to be executed for the first time. So it's creating a my, my so if you see my calculator is a class that we have to define. So I'll just define it as of now so that we don't get that red thing. So class my calculator and fine. So if you see and after that is saying uh, okay I implemented and okay that's what we have to print out I implemented. Then it is saying implemented interface names and my calculator and so on. So basically what you are supposed to do is if you see we have this method into uh, static method and then it is passed we have passed an object O and whatever it is creating an array and so on so on so on. But what are you supposed to do in this thing is if you see inter interface you have this interface advanced arithmetic and it is kind of a class like a class as I told you. And it is having a method signature or defined, it is prototyping a method integer divide, divisor sum. So it means that you have to use this as the parent class or parent interface and you have to implement the methods in it or basically use a child class for this. But the thing is, if you are, you know, inheriting a particular interface, you have to write implements instead of extends. So if it, it were a class, then you will write class my calculator extends advanced arithmetic. But as this is an interface, you will write into implements instead of extends and you will uh, implement advanced arithmetic. And if you see it is already sh showing me an error. Why? Because the interface is whatever methods are there in this interface, they have to be implemented in the class that is inheriting it. Okay. So that's why this is giving me an error. So let us try to implement the method that is as it is suggesting us. So if it is only having one method, which is this thing, if it had many uh, many more methods, then we have to implement all the methods. And remember, it is compulsory, compulsory to implement all the methods, okay. And if you see, it is overriding it. And what, you, what are you supposed to do is simply you are having a particular integer n and you have to print out the sum of the devices that it has. So get the, to get the divisors, I'll see, first of all, we'll have to add it, right. So I'll just define a particular value and it will start from 0. And to get the devices, you will have to use a for loop. So for let us say int i equals to and according to them, they have started the integer i from uh, 1 and they have ended it at i less than equals to n. Suppose n is 6, then we have to get the divisors from 1 to 6. So basically actually over here, if you see the input is 6, divisors are of 6 are according to them, they are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So basically these numbers are divided, divisible. Okay or whatever it is. So i less than equals to n and don't forget to just write i plus plus. And after that I will simply say if it i is divisible by it or not. Or basically the n, n is divisible by i or not. So if n is divisible by then n mod i will be 0. Then we will simply say we will increment the value by i and we simply have to print out the value. And to print out we will return the value as it is and run this code. So if you see I implemented and it is saying okay first of all let us write 6 and the answer is 12 let me check if it is correct yeah it is correct okay so what happens over here let us try to understand so it, is say, it says I implemented fine we saw it up to here then it has this method which is a static method and whatever error it is we don't have to worry about it so if you see actually we have to worry about this thing so object o dot get class so get class means it is having the interface O object is having this interfaces okay which is nothing but this interface that's why it printed out the java interface dot advanced arithmetic that's why it printed out this name okay and that's why it did all these things then it took in n and we are printing out uh, divisor sum of this n so this whatever this n is this n is over here but actually we have implemented this interface over here that's why we have basically overridden the method 
over here and we did all these things and it printed out 12 according to us so now there is a simple task that we have to do which is nothing but where did that class go yeah uh, yeah over here i have to simply copy this class which is the child class actually and paste it over here as they want and submit this to check if all the test cases work so there is no error in this problem that's all from my side you can subscribe to my channel to get updates regarding new videos that's all stay tuned and keep learning thank you